What is up everybody, Madcap here, and welcome back to Grim Dawn. Once again, we're back here at the Conclave of the Three, ready to talk to Cargon, the Bold, and see what he's got for us. This little tiny question mark over here, that's Cargon, the Bold. So let's see what he's got to say. Greetings, Greetings. have you returned with the Tome of uh, that thing? Yes, but Kenny didn't make it. I suppose that's no surprise. That poor boy was about as useful as a bundle of sticks, and about as flammable underneath that relentless sun, it seems. But I suppose he didn't deserve to die out there all alone. I should have sent someone capable along with him. His efforts were not in vain, though. Now we have the Tome of Anatome. What does it do? Do? Well, it doesn't do anything. It's just a book. Really? No kidding. You don't say. Patience. Patience, my friend. It's not what the book does, but what the knowledge it contains that matters. You see, this tome describes the art of transmutation, a technique developed in the Corvin Basin, but lost when the nation crumbled underneath a god's boot. I have been searching for it my entire career. With the knowledge contained in this tome, I can use the magic imbued within objects attuned to the presence of others to alter their very nature. It's no petty illusion either, my friend, but the power to bend reality itself. I can test this technique on some of your equipment, if you'd like, but you'll need to give me some time to decipher and study the text within the tome. Ooh, sounds dangerous. Mmm, I'm in. Uh, 2,000 experience. Ooh, boy. Did I already get that? I think I did. I didn't see it go up. Okay then. So that does it for him. Come see what's left of my which wares. basically he didn't have anything useful. That's a kind of a neat looking uh, two-handed axe. Doesn't look like an axe at all, actually. A actually, huh? see what I did there? That's kind of neat. I wish I could change my sword skin into that. I mean, maybe I can. I don't know. But I need to sell just some of this crap off really quick that I know I'm not going to be using to make a little bit of room here. I forgot to do that off camera, so here we are. I don't know why I didn't move that. I'm not using a shield. Um, That's probably good enough, right? I mean, I've got two entire things here, basically an entire thing here. If I move this, I have an entire thing. And I've got some other things there. Should be good. Okay, we're, we're, we're fine. And there's always trash in the shops anymore, so... I never look at them. Ever. Except I kind of do. Just to make sure there isn't anything useful in there. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do... Ah, is not talk to you. I always confuse him with a portal. I don't know why. We need to go up here. And go to the right. I don't know... Um... Where was it? Yeah, here. I don't know what to do about this area. I still need to go up here. I'm not sure if this is... Like, a long area where I'm supposed to be going, or if this is just a little tiny area I missed. So I will be going back there. I just don't know when. But I know in the end of the last episode, I said we were going to go to this thing. So... Definitely make good on that promise. I don't know if I'm going to stop to fight anything along the way. I guess I could. Oh, I haven't even done anything yet. This, 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 and that. And there we go. I don't know... Oh, don't go dying up here. There's like 90 guys fighting. Oh, well. Tried to ward him. Tried to save him. He was one. They were many. That guy's death was amazing. <laughs> Wee! Ah! Oh, I just kind of collapsed like that. Oh, this poor son of a bitch is all alone now. Hiding behind the rock, apparently. Psst. Don't worry, man. I'm sure you'll be fine. We're secret back here behind the rock. I don't think anybody will find us, so just stay put, okay? He'll be fine, I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure he'll be fine. Yeah, he's gonna die. He's, he's gonna die. I didn't want to tell him that. I see you, scorpions. Ooh, electric scorpion. Eleprinx. Eleprinzi. Eleprinx xylophone. That, that's what we're gonna call him. Oh, boy. 
I was not expecting that to happen. I just used my number three skill, the Ring of Steel, and he just exploded into death. I thought he had more health than that. That was weird. I just pushed the button and he went... Huah! Well, more powerful than I thought I was, apparently. Boink! Maybe I broke him. Maybe shattered or something. How peculiar. Alright, Star Dungeon. Eh, there's probably nothing up there. What do you got for me, Ruin Entrance? I'm ready for anything. I think. Howling Chasm. Oh! We didn't do, uh... Hey, listen! Thanks, Navi. Appreciate you. Love you. Oh. That's definitely howling. Jeez. That was kind of spooky, actually. If I wasn't killing giant beetles, well... It'd be even more spooky. And now it's just quiet. Which is odd and unsettling. Alright. Oh. There's the howling again. That's really creepy. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Alright. This area is enjoyable so far. It's great. I feel warm and fuzzy inside. Uh, scavenger pearly. What am I even doing down here? Does anybody know? This is a neat bridge. It just has vines hanging off it. It's like suspended in midair. Don't take your train over it, though. It'll probably collapse. It's just a fair warning to you. Eldritch mongrel. So basically just feral dogs. I guess is what I'm taking away from that. Whoa! Jesus, that guy ran fast. I mean, it did say there was a quest down here, right? So... I would imagine... I mean, the only quest I have is this. So it must lead to that quest or do something with it somehow. These are crazy rock formations. They're all like... Little rock hexagons. Oh, I almost forgot again. Little rock hexagons or something. They look very artificial. What? No, God, I keep pushing one with my mouse. I don't know why, because when you do it on here and you click, you have to click on the map to use it. But if you push one just on its own as a button, it just happens. It spawns out, which is much, much simpler to do. Oh, well, that guy's dead. Sorry, man. I didn't even know you were a boss. Oops. I think his name was Vendrog. I, I think some, something like that. Oh. Oh, there's that creepy, creepy howling again. It comes when you least expect it. Oh, man. I'd like to get out of this place, though. <laughs> Sooner rather than later, preferably. Hope I don't have to fight some ghost girl in the end. That's kind of what it sounds like, though. I can deal with the, the mongrel dogs, though. Those guys are easy. Nothing scary about you. Nothing at all. I still think this would be a cool first-person experience. I think it would actually fit well inside of, like, the Dragon's Dogma type game. I feel like that's kind of already kind of going with this vibe a little bit. So, I, I don't know. I think it'd be neat exploring all these areas and having everything coming at your face. It's so cool. So far, nothing terribly unique or interesting in this area, other than the terrifying moan, moaning howls, whatever they are. Oh, good, we're, we're leaving. Okay, 
That was exciting. Oh, this looks like a different area. Hmm. I was kind of wondering if this was going to be a transition period. Or transition period. Transition area, rather. What are you? Well, you're dead now. I guess I'll never know. Oh, there's somebody down here. Oh, Cold of Soleil. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no! Once again, we managed to save one person. Can I? I can't talk to you. Well, you're almost dead. You're probably going to bleed out and die. I tried to talk to you. I tried to be a friend and help. And you wouldn't have any of it. What is that? Is that a blue Balrog? Ancient Gargoyle. Man, Gargoyles don't look that cool. Let's get over here so we can see it. Go away, tree. Oh. Pfft. It always seems to happen. As soon as I zoom in to look at something, it dies. I thought it looked cool for what that's worth. Just wanted to see more of it. I want to get a pet one of those. That would be awesome. Or summon one of those. That would be pretty cool. Just have that thing walking around fighting for you. Man, oh man. I'm going to go over here really quick, because this looks like it might not be a way to go. Judging from where I just was. Ah, it loops back. Okay. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Oh, hey there, Gryffindor. How you doing hanging out up there? Just waiting to fall down. For some reason. I almost didn't see that guy. He was blending in with these rocks right here. He looked like a chunk of rock moss. Can't, wait, can I go this way? Is this a secret? No. Damn. Looked like it might be a bridge. Oh, hey, guys. I, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. You're all going to die down there. Oh, wait, no, I can. Oh, go, 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 go. Oh, no, no, don't go back up there. No, don't go up there. No, no, go under the bridge. There you go. I'll save them. I have the technology. Yes. Whew. Wait, these are my people. Yeah, Cult of Ismail. Okay. Wow. Getting to see my own folk. It's really weird that all these, like, small groups of people are just randomly strewn about. It feels very random. Where it's just like, hey, look, there's four people in the middle of nowhere that are fighting. What the heck are you? Grimma. Oh, I should probably not be anywhere near that. Oh, well, too late. Grimma Packhound Alpha. Let's take a look at you. You're like a lizard, I guess? Kind of? Oh, crap. Oh, man. I. <sighs> That's what I get for trying to look at things. All right, you stupid lizard, where are you? 13,000 experience regained. Oh boy. It's not like he was difficult or anything. Crag Hunter achievement unlocked. Weird, was that guy some kind of special? Something? Interesting. Yeah, he wasn't hard, I was just, I zoomed in to look at him and I was analyzing and uh, didn't keep my eye on the health. So I died. Uh, oops. Oh well. I like to look at these guys that I'm fighting. Because some of them look cool. I don't want to just kill everything and move on and just run through the whole game. That wouldn't be fun at all. Captain Log, first entry. Uh, okay, so we are headed around to the east, which I believe is what the map was. Yeah, headed over to the east. So that's good. And the star was through the howling thingamajig. So I would imagine that means we're on our way to the quest still. Oh, I can totally save you. Come on. Come on. Well, you're standing in poison, so I take that back. You might not be savable. Oh. Was that my grenade that just did that? My grenade landed on their head, and they died. Oops. Sorry about that. 
<laughs> okay, well then. Oh, look, they're working together. Drig and Bismil. I'm just gonna call him Bizquick. It's a nice, shorter name. Easier to say. Alright, wait a minute. Are you guys wearing the same thing, but one's green and one's blue? Uh... Kind of looks like it, except this one doesn't have the horns going forward and the helmets. Interesting. I like glowing things. <gasps> Vanguard of the Three! Oh yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be. At the Three! What the... Okay. You have a beast that looks strangely like what I just killed. But smaller. Kind of like all the other feral things I was killing. Who the hell are you? Oh, right. Okay. Colt Supplier. Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, no. You are. Do you have normal goods? I said Colt Supplier. I thought he was one of the, uh, the, uh, reputation sellers. Aether Resistance, Chaos Resistance. That seems... Oh, my God. I wish I could remember. That seems good. Isn't Aether or, and or Chaos... A rare stat to get those are pretty high numbers and they're both on one ring the one I have is 19 and 18 and I remember having to work a lot to get one of those like going back in and out of the shop exiting and re-entering the game over and over to find I think was it chaos I don't remember how much money do I have I have 1 million that costs 80,000 Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to need that. I guess I could pick it up, though. I mean... I get a little bit more poison resistance. A lot more health regenerated per second than the ring I have on now. I don't really know if physique is worth the plus 54 trade-off. But technically, this is a lot better than the incorruptible ring I have right now. Aether resistance. I would lose 9% Aether resistance and some cunning and defensive ability if I replace the other ring. I think I'm going to buy it and think about it. I just have to remember, though, to not sell it because I feel like I'm going to sell it. But if I did... Mm, this? Maybe that would remind me because it's surrounded by stuff. So I'll take a second look at it and go, hard dirt ba dirt dar. What are these? Poison and acid vitality. Pretty standard stuff there. Pretty standard stuff there. This? Hmm. Oh, I already have 10% chance to heal. Never mind. Uh, 11 health regenerated per second. That one's 20. Yeah, the one I have is better. Okay, all right. Oh my god, more stuff on the ground. Jeez, Louise. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not go in there just yet. Shall we not? Okay, well, let's talk to our lady friend the here. Was quite pleased with your performance. Good. But now it is my turn. Mm. You've gathered the materials and the power we need. It is time for my favorite part. Oh, what's your favorite part? With the materials you've brought me, I have conjured what's known as the Gargan Key. It is an arcane device used by the people that lived here long ago. Its purpose? The summoning of eldritch creatures within the Temple of Atep. Travel north to the Valley of the Chosen. Seek out the temple and find the altar within. There, the veil is thin and your chances of success highest. Let nothing stand in your way. Not the primordial ones brainwashed fools. Not the temple's defenses. Activate the altar and bind me a worthy minion. Sure thing, lady. I got you covered. Oh, I didn't see what it was. Damn, that's what I get for waiting. I got something. 
that's all you're going to get. Uh, well, actually, I'm sure you all saw it, so it's only me that didn't remember what that was. Something about experience and cult stuff, I guess, I think is what it was. Gorgon Key. Gar Gargan Key. Not so much an actual key, but a collection of strange artifacts combined to resemble one. It emits a nearly imperceptible humming sound. <laughs> I can hear it. Seer yes, Lorna. Traveler. What might I Whoa. help you with? That's a crazy looking mask. Helmet. I guess it's a helmet, right? Is it a helmet? I can see the ears. I don't know. If it isn't the intrepid traveler, I've had my mind on you for some time now. Your exploits here and beyond have proven to be very favorable to the three. But another vision has clouded my mind, as of late, and I think you may be able to help me. Yes. I have peered into the veil. And what looked back was sheer malevolence. Oh yeah, that was definitely me. No wonder she's been looking at me. The being I speak of is known only as the Messenger, a powerful servant of Korvok. Folk tales would describe a fiery visage coming to people in their dreams or in times of desperation, offering them salvation and solace from their life's woes. It is this harbinger of Korvok's fiery wrath that bound the foolish Kaiman's chosen to the forgotten god's will. Why it has chosen to reveal itself now is unknown to me, but this is an opportunity we cannot pass up. Eliminating the messenger would be a critical blow to Korvok's forces. You must follow my vision to the place of the misery, or of misery, known as the Pit of Atonement. Ooh. It is an active volcano within the ruins of Korvin City, to the northwest, beyond the infernal wastes. There, the messenger awaits us. Seek it out. Destroy it. The weave of fate demands it to be so. Cool! I like destroying things. I'm all for that. And what do you have? Are you the Scarecrow? You look like you might be the Scarecrow. I'm gonna call Batman on if you do anything, so you better behave yourself. I hear you've done some excellent work around here. Did you know you have a spider on your head? You might wanna... You might wanna... Get that off your head. I mean, it kinda looks like it's eating you alive. Okay, I guess if you're fine with that. I hear you've done some excellent work around here. Perhaps you can spare a moment to assist in the interests of Bismil. Sure thing, pal. The sacred web, see? Told you. Web. He's got a spider on his head and it's eating him. The sacred web brings word of a peculiar gathering in the Valley of the Chosen. Korvox, zealots, my life for ire, are up to something. There are whispers of an eldritch monstrosity that was once imprisoned within the tomb of Ar Ariath. I have a strong feeling that the fools are trying to release it. Scouts could, could confirm my concerns, but by then it may be too late. If these fanatics release it, they may even be able to bind it. I propose a different solution. We release it first. Now, now, hear me out. If this creature truly exists, and has in fact been bound within the tomb for centuries, it will be weak when it first awakens. That will be our opportunity to strike and deny our enemy a resource. Within the tomb and the three conduits said to bind the creature there. Oh, within the tomb are three conduits, conduits said to bind the creature there. If they are broken, the beast will be unleashed. Find the tomb of Ariath in the Valley of the Chosen, in the infernal wastes of the northwest. Destroy the conduits, release the beast, and slay it before the enemy has a chance to claim it. I will eliminate the creature. Of that, you can be sure. Hmm. I wonder if I should sell some of my crap now. It would give us a good time to kind of look over it, wouldn't it? Um, pants. I've got blue pants. Um, I mean, the armor's pretty comparable here. It's got a lot more stuff on it, too. Uh, lightning damage? I don't have any lightning damage, really, do I? Vitality damage, elemental damage, electrocute damage. Blah, 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 blah. I don't think I want those. We already discussed this. Was no good. Okay. Don't use crossbows. My boots are purple. Probably I'm not going to be replacing those anytime soon, I would imagine. My shoulder pads are blue. 908. This has more armor, but it looks kind of generic. Mm. That helmet looks kind of interesting. Let's put it on for a second to see. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. I wish it was green. 
Oh, of course it's nighttime. Not gonna be able to see anything. And my blades. I haven't figured out how to get rid of the blades. I don't know what to do. I I don't I don't think you can de summon them because they're not a pet up here. Weird. Okay, well I I can kind of see it. That's not a bad looking helmet. I might keep that for a second. I forget how getting the skins works. So I'm going to have to figure that out. If just owning it in my inventory gets it to me, or if I have to sell it, or how that works. So I'll leave that there for now. Aether Resistance, what are you? Your belts. My belt's super amazing, isn't it? Yeah, the potion. I'm not. I don't want to get rid of that. Oh, I'm not selling anymore. Eh. Sell. Um. 11% elemental resistance. I guess that's not terrible. That one has 28, though. Okay, I'm not using guns. A new hat, but I have nowhere near enough spirit to use that. Terrible armor, like 400 armor. 11 health regenerations, already worse than what I have. We already looked at that one. Oh, yeah, because I'm back over in this area. Right. I think this gun looks pretty cool. I kind of want to keep it and try it. But then again, I've said that with like everything in my storage, haven't I? How much of that have I gone back to to try? It's comparable armor. Eh, it's not really worth it. Not worth that. Not worth it. Yeah, I think all this stuff is just garbage. Look at all this crap I have. I have so many components. Holy bagoli. I'm gonna have to take another look at those and see if there's anything I could change to. I don't think so with the bristly fur and the corpse dust and my energy regeneration here. That, that's what this was, right? Yeah, energy regeneration. I think I'm pretty okay, unless there's some super crazy thing that I didn't know about right now. Aether Ward. Energy, right, okay. Yeah, that's that thing. Bloodborne Saber. Ring of Steel. Yeah, I think we're pretty much okay. I might take another look, though. Just to see if anything new's been formed since we're on the expansion. And see if there's anything cool and exciting to wait. Oh, look, RGB. Oh, it's so cool. It's so pretty looking. RGBP! And W for white-ish, I guess? I don't know. So I guess next time, I'm going to hold off on this area, I think, temporarily. And we're going to go back. Well, I can't even go there on the map, can I? Oh, I can. Okay, it's all one big continuous map. I'm going to go back here. We're getting pretty far away from this. I want to make sure that there's nothing important to do over here so that we can continue on our merry way through the green wastelands. And, uh just see what this area has because this is obviously the way forward so they keep talking about the northwest which spoiler warning thanks game looks like it's up here in a marshy section yeah should be awesome but that's gonna do it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one until then stay metal